I'll be starting with the analysis of algorithm. Now, what is analysis of algorithm? For any problem, we can have multiple solutions. Solution number one, solution number two, solution number three. If any problem is there, there may be the solution is known as algorithm. So for one problem, we can have multiple solutions. The solutions are, can be one, it can be two, it can be three, four, five, up to ten, or maybe hundred, any number of solutions we can have. Now, being a computer scientist, what is our rule? If a problem is there, solutions are there. How do you choose that which solution is good for us? Are you getting my point? Let us say, let me take another example. I am, de I am in Delhi. I need to travel to, let's say, Greater Noida. And there are multiple paths. There are three paths. Which path you will be choosing? You will be choosing path based on certain criteria. The path, you are supposed to choose any path which will take shortest time, let's say. There should not be any toll because it can lead more money, traffic free, etc. So that means they based on certain qualities based on certain attributes we are supposed to choose path from different different which path is suitable for me similarly if you're a computer scientist if you're going to solve a particular problem for one problem if there are multiple solutions available how do you check which solution is good which solution is not good so we need to do the analysis of those algorithms how analysis can be done the the analysis of algorithm the analysis of algorithm can be done in two ways. One is based on time. One is based on space. That means if there are four solutions and we need to find out which solution is more appropriate for me. So I'm supposed to do the analysis part and the analysis of algorithm can be done in two ways, time and space. Now, what is time? This time is if I'm going to implement this algorithm, how much, how much time my program is going to take is going to be the time complexity of that program. Similarly, what is space? The space is all about how much extra space is required to implement this algorithm is known as what? Space complexity. That means while doing the analysis of algorithm, we are supposed to take care of two things. One is time complexity and second is what? Space. That means our, our solution should not take more time. It should not take. It should not take more time. Second, it should take very less space. It should take very less space or minimum space that means if you're writing algorithm you are supposed to write in such a way your solution should not take more time and it should always take minimum as minimum as possible space that means the category the quality of algorithm can be checked with these two aspect time and space Nowadays, space is not a big problem, but time is very critical. Now, how come time is very critical? Why it is very important to do the analysis part? How, why it is compulsory to measure the comp time complexity of any solution? I'm going to explain you with the help of one example and you will feel that this much change can do after doing the analysis. If you're buying i3 processor, i5 processor, i7 processor. This cannot do magic while doing the very, very big calculation. But if you're writing good algorithm, these things can do wonders. Let me explain through one of the examples. Since I hope you all are engineering graduate and you must be familiar about prime number. It is a very simple concept. What is a prime number? Do you understand? All those numbers which are divisible by one and itself are what prime number so let us say i'm giving you one question write a solution how to find out prime numbers so let us say you my first viewer is saying it is as it is as simple as that that i will simply take a for loop let's say for i is equals to 2 2 n minus 1 because 
every prime number is supposed to be divisible by 1 and itself that's why my student is not dividing it by 1 and itself that means simply take a look from i is equals to 2 to n if if i divides n if i is able to divide n that means not a prime number not a prime number and this is a very good concept because a number is said to be prime if it is only divisible by one and itself if we are neither we are neither dividing by one or itself apart from one and itself if it is divisible that number cannot be a prime number this is one solution very valid solution now one another student from the same class he is saying i am going to write a different solution he has given a different solution let's say for i is equals to 2 there's no point to divide from 2 to n minus 1 because after at a certain level if i'm saying i have a number from 1 to n in spite of dividing from 1 to n i can divide 1 to n by 2 because after that every number is going to be just twice of previous number so he has given me one solution let's take i is equals to 2 to n by 2 and still solution if i divides n not a prime number and this is also a valid solution not a prime number this is also a valid solution this is also a valid solution another student was very quiet in the class and then he said uh, let me give a different solution he has given a different solution so don't take n minus 1 or n by 2 rather than taking these value take a value i is equals to 2 to root n if i divides n not a prime number this is also a valid solution not a prime number now the problem was just to figure out just to find out which number is prime and the concept of finding prime number is the prime number is those number which are only divisible by one and itself and for that for the one problem we have now three solution one two three right and what operation we are performing division process let us say one division process is going to take one millisecond how much one millisecond in one second 10 to the power 3 millisecond is there so we are taking one this is our assumption that every division is going to take how much time one millisecond so let me take one example 11 is a prime number this is my first example 11 is a prime number we are going to find out which solution is better and how much that solution is better why we are going to do the analysis part of any algorithm you will get to know you will have a better idea after doing this example so my first number is 11 if i'm going to use this solution this loop will run from 2 to n minus 1 that means this loop will run from 2 to 10 that means how many times this is going to run n minus 2 that means 9 times so one division is taking one millisecond this loop is going to run nine times that means nine division is going to be there that means how much time your this program is going to take nine milliseconds this one this is approximately five millisecond if i'm going to use this one this is going to take approximately let's say root 11 minus one this is going to take let's say two milliseconds approximately not a major difference because 9 millisecond is a very small value 5 millisecond is a very small value 2 milliseconds is a very small value at this point of time we are not able to understand which algorithm is better we can say yes this is better but this is this time is very less we cannot all are working very fine because all are executing within less than a second so let me take a bigger value let me take a six digit value 10,001 or 10,003 this value is 10 to the power 6 plus 3 this is a prime number if I'm going to use this solution this is my number this loop is going to run n minus 2 so this is approximately going to run 10 to the power 6 millisecond how much time it, we are going to consume 10 to the power 6 millisecond that means 
10 to the power 3 seconds. How many seconds? 10 to the power 3 seconds. If you are going to convert that into minute, approximately 16 minute this exercise is going to take. Now, if you are going to do this, this will go up to half. So, approximately let us say 10 to the power 6 by 2, that means 10 to the power 5. 10 to the power 6, half is not 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 5. So, 10 to the power 5 minus 1, approximately very much similar in minutes. You can do the calculation. But if I am going to use this third solution, if I am going to use third solution, this is going to take how much time? Root 10 to the power 6 minus 1. Root 10 to the power 6 is 10 to the power 3 minus 1. 10 to the power 3 millisecond is equals to what? 10 to the power 3 millisecond is what? 1 second. So, I can write the number was 10 to the power 6 plus 3. So, let me write 10 to the power plus 6, 3 minus 1. So, this is going to be happen in a second time. So, please understand my first solution is taking more than 16 minutes. This is going to take nearly 15, let's say 8 to 15 minutes. My third solution is taking how much time? 1 second. The value is very small, 10 to the power 6. Let me take a bigger number. If I am going to take a number of 10 to the power 10 plus 3, 10 digit number, then this is going to take 10 to the power 10 minus 2 time. And if you are going to calculate, you will get nearly more than 100 days similar solution you will have here but if you are going to use this solution 10 to the power 10 plus 3 minus 1 and this is going to be 10 to the power 5 millisecond 10 to the power 5 millisecond means what 10 to the power 2 second that means my first solution is taking 115 days and this solution is taking 100 seconds just imagine what is the importance of having a good algorithm my all student, all three students have given correct solution. Just imagine which processor can change your processing speed up to this much. One processor is the, no processor can reduce a work of 115 days to 100 seconds. No processor. That means, and this is how you are more important. If you are a computer scientist, this is how you can change the world by writing good algorithm only. That means, Whenever you are writing algorithm, but if you are writing correct algorithm, that doesn't mean that your job is over. You need to write correct solution as well as you need to write solution in such a way that your solution should take a minimum time. And this is our job. That is what we are going to check in the next lecture. How to calculate time complexity of a program. This point is clear. You can take this solution is taking 115 days only this is not a very big value well this number can be very big just imagine it is going to take time in years and it can give you minutes just imagine the importance of having good algorithm and this is how your role is important this is how you are going to be important if you are a good student if you are a good computer science graduate you are supposed to design such algorithm which are going to do which are going to be executed in minimum amount of time. So by considering these facts in the next lecture, we are going to see how to calculate time complexity. Thank you.